Welcome once again right now at Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 17. Walk in humility. Paul says, put on therefore as God's chosen ones, holy, holy meaning separate, set apart, and beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, lowliness, humility, and perseverance, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. In the Torah, in the books of Moses, it commands you very, very specifically, do not hold a grudge. That is speaking about forgiveness. So Paul here is preaching Torah, forgiving each other. If any man has a complaint against any, even as Christ forgave you, so you also do. Above all these things, walk in love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And again, doing something in the name of the Lord Jesus doesn't mean that you literally have to, you know, liturgically say in the name of Jesus. No, you can be doing something in the name of Jesus without using that phrase, without ever verbalizing that phrase. The phrase in the name of Jesus means doing it in his behalf or doing it with his authority, doing it by his instruction. You heard his word. He gave you instruction to do something. If you do it, you do it in the name of Jesus, even if you never verbalize that phrase by saying in the name of Jesus. Bottom line is you cannot obey this particular passage. You cannot walk in this passage without walking in humility. It is so, so very important. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.